Okay, so these are um, my Western Mystery School students. This is Trinity's chart in the back of her workbook. She's drawn it and color coded all her planets. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Trinity. And so Sarah, let's see yours next. I'm gonna click on you. And if you start talking, I think it'll show up. There we go. Yeah, so here's mine and- Oh, nice. I, and like, so I like Trinity's idea of putting the uh, more info inside. Yeah, beautiful. It's, it's meaningful to draw your chart, isn't okay. it? Doesn't it take it yeah. kind of in a little further? Okay, and then here's Hannah's. Uh, so I didn't do any um, numbers or anything. I only drew the glyphs. Okay. I like that. So kind of just like okay. a visual thing. Oh yeah, here, let's bring it closer. So okay. that's her start. But I, um, I also think it would be good to write the numbers in okay. too, because um, once you get to know your degree, so like I have a 25 degree sun in Virgo and I know when planets are transiting 25 degrees, they're going to be aspecting my chart. And so, you know, there's this summer, a whole bunch of things that are at that 25 degree point. And so I'm following that as far as my transits to know how I'm being impacted by the current astral weather. So just saying degrees, the minutes are another thing. They're the smaller numbers, but the bold numbers are the degrees. And it's really good to, to know your degrees. So that degree within each house. Each planet is in a sign at a degree between. So here, like say Pisces, it says 10.05. So that means it's at 10 degrees, 10 five minutes. And that's the, yeah, that's the cusp right here between the second and the third house. And so, yes. um, but then you have planets within the houses themselves that are at specific degrees and minutes. And so just know that the bold number will always be the degree and it will be between zero and 29 um, because each zodiac signs 30 degrees, 12 zodiac signs makes a wheel 360 degrees. Right. And so just learning that bold numbers, um, at least on your sun, moon and rising so that if you look at a new moon or full moon and you wonder like, hey, um, what degree is it at? And oh my gosh, that's exactly opposite my sun or oh, that's on my moon. Or, you know, you can just follow the transits a little better by knowing at least those three sun, moon and rising degrees. Uh, what sun and degree. 